What's up guys, Timmy Gaming here and welcome back to another Knights and Dragons video. And today we're gonna interview Equinox Prodigy. Hey guys. So, our first question is, talk a bit about your channel and what do you do on it? So like Timmy said, my channel is Equinox Prodigy and I basically bring anything and uh, basically anything Knights and Dragons, um, you know, epic bosses, basically like news that goes on in the game, uh, fusions, enhancements, um, basically, like I said, anything Knights and Dragons, and I just try to bring some quality content out to you guys. Nice. So, why did you choose the name Equinox Prodigy for your YouTube name? Well, so when I first created my YouTube account, um, as some of you probably know, um, there's a trouble with really picking like the name that you really want like it always wants to use like your first and last name for your YouTube name Yeah, so I ended up just like browsing names online just like random names for like medieval games and stuff like that and uh, Honestly the word equinox just kind of popped into my head and I was like Oh, I should really use that because I really like that name and uh, I was just browsing around on a site, and um, I found Prodigy, and I thought Equinox Prodigy sounded good. So I actually set that as, I set Equinox as my first name, um, and Prodigy is my last. And so technically, Equinox Prodigy is my uh, name on YouTube, and it's also my channel name. So that's basically, like, how that came about. Oh, nice. It's basically the same thing for me. My first name is Timmy Gamer, and my last name is KND, so... Yeah. So, when did you start making YouTube videos? Uh, I started making YouTube videos about a month ago, but um, I had the channel for a couple weeks before then. And, uh, yeah, just about a month ago. Oh, nice. So, it's, so your channel is pretty recent. Yeah, it's, it's pretty recent. Um, I started playing the game on the uh, River Golem Epic Boss, so... And then I started making videos about a month ago, so... Oh, nice. Yeah. So, why did you start making Knights and Dragons videos? Um, I really wanted to, like, I know I was kind of new to the game, and I kind of wanted to bring out a channel where, like, people can kind of, like, connect to what I'm, like, doing in the game for people that, you know, don't have a bunch of epics or anything. Just kind of, like, so the progression is with the viewer and like the person who's making the video and I thought that was kind of a cool idea for a channel and so I just decided to make videos and I wanted to like help people out in the game because and I wanted people to know about Knights and Dragons because I think it's a really fun game yeah. so I just decided to make videos oh nice yeah. so uh, who was your inspiration um, well, actually the first channel I ever found was Mac Mason and I watched Mac Mason for a while and um, I thought that was a pretty cool channel, and then I found Reversal, and I was like, oh, wow, I didn't, like, know there's this many, like, YouTube channels out, because then I found, like, Machismo and Murdoch Madness, and, like, I would be watching those videos all the time, and I thought, hey, if they can do it, I can do it, so I decided to uh, make a YouTube channel. Nice. So how long does it take you to uh, prepare to make a video, uh, record it, and edit the video? Um, sometimes ideas for videos or when I want to make a video, sometimes it just like pops into my mind and I just press the screen recorder and start recording off the top of my head. Um, I honestly don't do a lot of preparation. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing is off the top of my head, but if I have a really like in-depth video, say like on an epic boss analyzation or like analyzation for a, uh, arena tournament reward or something like that. I will probably spend like five to ten minutes preparing like what I'm going to say and stuff like that. But uh, once I make the video, um, I basically just import it to my computer and then I already have like a template made that has my um, the short little intro in Windows Movie Maker. And then I just put the clip in, put any music I want and do my little edits. And then uh, so the basically 
editing of the video usually takes maximum like 15 20 minutes and then rendering usually takes the longest yeah so for how long do you think you're still going to be doing a uh, knights and dragons videos or, or just youtube videos um um i'm hoping i mean i don't really have a point set where i'm gonna stop or anything um, I know I really like Knights and Dragons, and I'm not bored with it at all yet. So um, I'm thinking for at least another, like, three to four months. Um, honestly, I think I'd go past that probably. Oh. I, I'm really excited to see, like, what's all going to be in the game and all that type of stuff. Because with Epic Grade bosses, I'm sure they're going to come out with a lot of new stuff. Yeah. So, what's your favorite uh, iOS game apart from Knights and Dragons? Hmm. Apart from Knights and Dragons. Yes. Hmm. Well, I don't play too many apps other than Knights and Dragons. There's a couple that I just mess around with. Um, there's this one game called True Skate, which is basically like... Uh, it's like a skating game. Uh, that game's pretty fun. I play that every once in a while. And I also still have Flappy Bird downloaded on my phone, so I play that every once in a while. And uh, I played Jetpack Joyride for a while, which was pretty fun. And uh, I also play a little bit of Boom Beach as well. Nice. But I'd probably say my favorite would have to be like Jetpack Joyride besides Knights and Dragons. So, what's your favorite epic in the game? So, uh, one chest epic, one guild war epic, and one fusible epic. Ooh, that's a hard one. All right, for fusible, I'm definitely gonna have to go with uh, aquatic battle gear. I really like that epic. Um, it's pretty strong, and uh, I like the look of it as well, and I like the elements. Um, for chest epic, I'm definitely going to have to go with the new Chaos Vanguard. That epic, I just think, looks absolutely sick. Um, I think it looks really cool. Yeah. And, Mo mono uh, spirit. Yeah, it is, it is mono, but um, yeah, I really like the look of it, and I like its stats as well. And then for Guild War epic... Um, hmm... I really like uh, that new Champions Battle Gear. I'll probably have to go with that. Um, again, I like the elements. It's the same as Aquatic. But I don't know what it is about it. I just really like the look of it. Nice. So for our last question is, what do you think about the new event of, of the bosses' hordes? The Yeah, the Orc Raid, Epic Raid bosses. Yeah. So, um... I really like that. Um, I really like all the rewards where they have like top player, top guild, and even like um, the top players within your guild. Um, I really like that. Uh, I like how they have the milestone and everything. It's just really nice boost. I think a lot of like new players and stuff are gonna really benefit from uh, all the rewards they're giving, and I'm sure the top guilds will be super excited as well for all the rewards and the new milestones and everything. But, yeah, I'm really excited for them. Okay, so thank you for your time, uh, Equinox Prodigy. It was really appreciated uh, to talk to you today. So this is going to be it, guys, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not yet. And don't forget to go check Equinox Prodigy's channel. The link for his channel is going to be in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys.